the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hello you guys, I'm Brandon Campbell 12 YouTube channel, playing with a comic book anime reviews. If you guys do my review for DC Pride number one, the um, big DC Pride comic book, um, that had a lot of pages with a lot of different stories that were within it. And I definitely enjoyed reading a lot of this book. Um, a lot of the stories were very well done, very well crafted. I definitely enjoyed all the ones I read. Um, they were about the characters that I obviously cared about. Uh, the Batgirl, Batwoman one, I mean, not Batgirl, Batwoman one with Kate Kane was really good. And it really got us to, like, the history of Kate Kane and really delved into that and her backstory and, like, living how, like, and, and kind of how it dealt with gender roles and how, like, um, Kate was, how girls are supposed to act her seeing, like, a mirror version of herself, which is, like, the nicest girl, the non-militaristic girl in the mirror and her just saying, like, Screw that, that's not who I am anymore. I'm this. This is who I chose to be. I didn't choose to be that. I'm who I am right now. And that was that was really great. The Hardy Coins story was really good for the most part. Um Rick Atomica did a really good job with that one. It was really fun. Uh, really got into Hardy Quinn's characterization really well and poison ivy characterization. I love the fact that like we still like keeping that we still managed to keep that whole relationship intact in this little DC Prod book. Um because I know DC's been trying to like pretend like that didn't happen for a little bit there. Um by breaking them up in the main continuity. So glad to see it back in here. I also got kind of ready for a real glimpse of what this non binary flash is like. Because up until this point we never really knew what they were like. We never really got their personality. Um, they were in the Justice League, but we never really got like a real arc from them. Um, and that book was dealing with so many other characters throughout it. Um, this book really dives into the non-binary flash characterization um, in relationship with Andy Curry and that whole bond and there was that whole fashion thing that they did in the book that was really nice. Just really great scenes throughout that book and I really, really enjoyed it. Uh... And I just I enjoyed the book overall, just in general. It was a very fun read. It had a lot of great moments throughout it. Uh, I enjoyed the characterization throughout the book, and it was just it was just fun. It was just a fun book. So, then I'm with us on DC Pride number one, you guys. Let me know comment what you about DC Pride, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.